you're in that cell, it is you and the four walls. Two juveniles allegedly fired shots. Guns are not a solution and they want to see the violence stop. Violence stop. It violence just got stop. real. The gun went off. The gun kept going off. Drug turf war. Finner was indicted Tuesday. Breaks out last night in Hyattsville. Hyattsville. I'm found guilty. Like out of nowhere, shot just start firing. Of a crime I didn't commit. This is beyond serious. He meant to kill him. Life sentence. Why am I in here if I'm innocent? Man, I didn't do this. I tell you, it was um, quite obvious the first time I saw Derek, he was special. The power that he had, the speed that he had, the size that he had, he was just a gift from God. He was just that kind of a runner, that kind of a person. Whatever he set his mind to, he was gonna do. You didn't see many 6'4", 225 pound running backs. If you run downhill, give guys your shoulder pads, at 225, 230 by the time I got to Carolina, you'd be hard to stop. Derek Fenner from Oxon Hill, Maryland is a stud. Let's be real blunt about it. This young man has got all the tools you would want to have in a tailback. Great speed, great vision on the field. Shoot, I love Derek Fenner. Uh, always have. At the time he was at Chapel Hill, certainly was a follower. I mean, Derek had great intentions. He may be going to class at 10 to late, and if somebody said, Derek, let's go downtown and have a cup of coffee, or you know, let's go here or there, whatever, okay. Backpack on his back, let's go. That was just him. Dorn, Dorn starting at tailback. Derek Fenner will not get his starting nod showed up late for a practice. And I said, Derek, I'm gonna have to hold you out. Held him out first quarter, put him in. 328 yards in three quarters. This is Fenner. He's got a great block from Pat Crowley. And Fenner in the open field. Fenner has one man to beat. Touchdown, North Carolina. Yeah, it was a higher power with me that day. It was one of those games to where you have once in a lifetime. It was spectacular for me. I wasn't going to be stopped that day. Fenner doing much of the ball carrying now, breaks into the open field. Oh, the foot race, Fenner, goes to the line, touchdown North Carolina. Derek Fenner all the way for 68 yards. He's going to give you some problems here and there, but there's little question he's got an awful lot of talent. <laughs> Made some choices that were tough on him. You know what, Derek Fenner had seen it all in Oxon Hill, Maryland. So Chapel Hill, that wasn't a shock. It doesn't matter where you are. If you want to get involved in something that may not be good for you, you can find it. We all have choices in life. I knew what was right and what was wrong. It was really about wanting to be part of a certain clique or group hanging with those guys and rolling with those guys almost cost me my life. Came home from Carolina. It was a Friday night. Hanging with my boys um, uh, at the time who were selling drugs, drug dealing and gang banging and doing all the things that you know they were doing local drug dealer came out and pulled the gun on us, threatened us. It was truly by God's grace and mercy that no one that I was with had a gun on them. And understand, these are guys that didn't go anywhere without a gun. Always was strapped. They stayed with a gun. They went back the next night looking for the drug dealer, looking for the guy who actually pulled the gun on them. They just went out and just shot up everybody that they saw. Didn't hit him, hit someone else and killed that other person. We talk about me being, you know, 6'4", 230 pounds, this imposing figure. The first thing anyone said 
was, hey, it was Derek Finney. I was headed back to Carolina. When you look at what happened in my situation, someone was killed. I got caught up in it, spent you know, time in jail. Another person spent 25 years in jail. Another person was actually killed in jail. Families are changed forever. Fathers don't get to see their sons. That one gunshot man, can change lives forever, man. It was a sad day for me. I, I was sitting there looking at the news and it flashed on the news. I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, what? what? And I was just looking at the, the TV and they had him in handcuffs. I talked to him. I said, Derek, I just want to know one thing. I said, did you do it? And he said, Coach, I swear I didn't do it. I said, so that's all I need to hear. I've really put this out of my memory bank, to be quite honest with you. I mean, this has been one of those things. Obviously, it was a traumatic time in my life. Um, so it, it certainly hasn't been something that I've ever really wanted to revisit. Um, but I, I think now is the time for me to do so because of what I'm looking to do in the community. It's been almost 30 years. You're in a cell that I can reach out and touch both sides of the wall. Sharing that with another person, it, it makes me count my blessings even more. Walking back in, it, you know, it brings me back to, you know, 1987. I just remember being terrified. It smells like your freedom has been taken away. You know, I'm a 19-year-old kid who um, has been charged with a very serious crime, not really knowing, you know, what my fate was going to be. You know, it was uh, pretty traumatic at the time. For me, one of the reasons I agreed to even do this piece is for me to be able to share my experience with the world, basically. There are a lot of kids probably going through some of the same things that I went through um, back when I was you know, 18, 19 years old. So for me to be able to come back and you know, to put myself back in this situation where you know for the last 29 years I've completely put it out of my mind um, says that I want to be able to reach kids who may be tied up with the wrong crowd or you know uh, getting ready to make some some bad decisions and hopefully they see this interview and understand that you know I need to make better choices or you know I could be faced in a situation to where you know, 20 to 25 years of my life could be taken away from me. When you got a big man who can run downhill, run you over, but also make you miss, big dudes ain't, shape, ain't have, supposed to have that little shake to make you miss. So when he stepped up on the football field for us in the 90s, this dude was a beast, man. The 44 that I wore represented the 44 days I spent in jail. That jersey, every time I put it on, was just motivation for me. It was something for me that had a major impact. Football allows you to have a platform where you can go ahead and walk into someone's life. And somebody wanted to give you an audience just because you play professional football. There's some Derek Finners out there right now that, you know, can use my advice and some of the things that I've gone through over the years to help them get through certain situations.
That's what this is all about, man. It's about being able to help someone else. This is Derek Fennell. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here to speak to you. These guys you see around the room, they're with Raycom Sports. They wanted to do a feature on me. And I said, the only way you can do a feature on me if you give me the opportunity to come back to Oxen Hill so I can speak to the team. When you walk into somebody's life, you gotta be able to have something to say. Don't be trying to sell no pipe dreams. Give them the real deal. Life is hard, dude. Life happens to absolutely everyone. What I'm doing now is, and the reason you see all these cameras and, and, and all this, I wanna be able to take my story nationwide, right? I haven't told this story, man, in 30 years. Never told this story. You guys are the first ones to ever hear this story. Now it's time for me to take my story across the country because there's somebody here, man, in this room right here right now that's about to make the wrong choice. And what I want to do, man, I want to share my story because I want you to make the right choice, man. I want you to make the right choice. Derek, I can't say enough about him. Um, I always knew that when he came out of incarceration, I told him, I said, Derek, one day you're going to look at this and you're going to see some things that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. You have an opportunity now to really help people in the right direction. You can tell them about the choices that you've made. You can tell them how you were incarcerated for 44 days and what that felt like. This whole area, man, was just, um, it's all Glass Manor. Glass Manor was like probably one of the toughest areas in all of Maryland, you know, back in the day. You come up this hill, get to the rec center, you know, it's, you may have to fight going back down the hill. Meet the crew over here at Glass Manor Community Center. We would, um, we would hoop, you know, we would, you know, do all those things you do as a kid. Right here was sort of the meeting place right here. This is it, man. The hood, man. You know, you hang with those guys because they're your boys, or at least you think they're your boys. But the reality is, you know, their path um, was different than my path. You know, and as opposed to me just, you know, staying my path, my course, my process, you know, the dudes that I grew up with and kind of got in that trouble with live right, live right here. You know what I mean? We all sort of grew up together. Life is ups and downs, process, ups and downs, process, peace, problems, remedy, responses, all that stuff is, it's like cycles of stuff. And Derek is not afraid to share that. And that's gonna help some young man, some young woman navigate this hard thing that we call life. The University of North Carolina gave me a scholarship. And in fact, I rushed for 140 yards as a freshman, very first game. I was on my way. But every weekend or every opportunity that I had a chance to go back home, guess what I was doing? I was going back home, hanging with that crew. You know the crew I'm talking about, the drug dealers, the dudes out there on the corners slinging making choices. I chose the wrong crew. When you're locked up, all that being tough, 6'4", 235, that's out the window. 44 days locked up. You know, it's mixed emotions. You know, um, certainly a big part of me is happy that I made it out. Then the other Part of me is, you know, how do I help other folks get out? Um, hoping that my message will resonate in, you know, some of these kids and get them to do what they need to do to get out of that situation. I 
I had the sets of friends that were good students, that had goals and dreams, and that were going somewhere. In fact, I'm still friends with them today. Not too many African American men are out there doing the things that are saying, look what I did, this is where you can make a correction, do the right thing, make better decisions than what I made. Then I had the set of friends who had no dreams. They were the friends that had all the blame. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, the ones with the Jordans, the ones at 17, 18 years old driving the BMWs. Yeah, I know who I'm talking about, the drug dealer. The only thing I did was make myself available uh, to allow God to do his work. That's really all I did. You look at God, you look at Jesus. Jesus was all about giving back and helping, you know? And that's what I feel that we need to do. Whether you're a Christian or not, I mean, that's what I feel we need to do. That's the second half of my life, my story. Um, so that's why we're doing all this. I love his commitment to making sure that if he can keep another kid from going through that, that's what he's committed to do. This is now his field. This is his new football field, so that was a big touchdown to me. Being in a position to be a change agent in our community, to touch young lives, to let them know that, hey, I've been where you've been, um, I've experienced some of the hardship and the struggle and the difficulty that you're experiencing. If I was able to do it, you're more than able to do it. And let's walk this walk together. And I think that's what you're about to see in this next transition of greatness in Dirk Finn's life. Okay.